This week on the Maritime Beer Report, I've got a lot of news on tap rooms, new beers, two brand spanking new breweries, and a few other goodies. the December 11th edition of the Maritime Beer Report. Bar None Brewing had on tap last night Pale, an IPA, and Big O. All those on tap plus Vaca Loca, the milk stout, were available in growlers. The Big O was an all-new PEI organic beer, 100% organic malt, light in color, 5% ABV, low on the bitter side with a pleasant aroma nose. Four City Brewing Mountain says that their brewing license is imminent from the AMBL. Four City Brewing will be on tap in a bar near you in early 2016. Le Brasseur de Petit Sol released their authentic triple named in honor of New Brunswick's most notorious bootlegger, Maxime Albert of St. Hilaire. A complex beer that explodes with flavor and a boozy 9.2% ABV. Next Saturday, December 19th at the Resto Bar Le Deck, they're taking over the taps with a few surprises. On the 10 taps, look for an Oak Strong Scotch Ale, a Strawberry Blonde, a Rye Saison, and a Triple Chocolate Chili Stout. First City Brewers in St. John says that their first cakes are officially listed with the ANBL. Their first batch of IPA is currently on tap at our bar, and the kegs are being delivered to Pepper's Pub. The IPA is light in color but big on flavor. It comes in at 6.5% ABV and is brewed using Magnum, Amarillo, Centennial, Citra, and Galaxy Hops. Congratulations, guys. Grimross Brewing released its Double Noel, which is a higher, uh, which is higher in ABV at 8.6%, but was conditioned on vanilla beans for two weeks, rich caramel, raisin, and dark chocolate. It's out. Uh, and it'll be out at the it's out now and it'll be at the growler fill stations at the ABN, ANBL in two weeks. Pumphouse Brewery has its nor'easter beater winter warmer back on tap. It's a traditional malty sweet English style that's brewed in the winter months but spiced with cloves, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Deep dark amber color with big malt presence and lingering spicy notes and 7% ABV. Trailway Brewing has gone to the dogs again. Their dog, Aurora, is a two-year-old unknown mix of breeds that was rescued from the Fredericton SPCA this past summer. She's getting into her new home great and happens to be a 65-pound lap dog. Now meet Good Aurora, the beer. Similar to Aurora, the dog, Good Aurora is a bit of a hybrid of styles. Good Aurora is brewed with rye, Munich, and crystal malts, resulting in a 7.1% ABV amber-colored ale but with plenty of hop flavor and aroma and a slight hop bitterness to balance out the malt. Each time Good Aurora is brewed, a donation will be made to the Fredericton SPCA, so when you're enjoying the beer, you know that you're supporting the SPCA and a good cause. Garrison Brewing is adding the 11th beer to its taps at the brewery. Pear Hug Weiss, a 5.2% ABB flavored Weissen. It's made with pear juice that gives the fruitiness and sweetness, they also say it's extremely smooth and aromatic. This is on tap now at the brewery with Spruce Beer, Winter Warmer, Imperial IPA, Reisenstein Weissen, Martello Stout, and their five full-time beers. The George's Island Brewing over at Auction House released the names of their first two beers, and they had a bit of fun with them. First up is Her Name Was Amber. This is an amber beer. It's made with New Zealand malts and a slightly hoppy beer with a hint of citrus and a touch of bitterness. Next up is Bob's Your Dunkel, a Dunkelweissen, a, that's a German wheat beer. It's brewed with chai tea, giving it a cinnamon nutmeg flavor. Good Robot's uh, tap room is drawing ever closer uh, to opening. Announced some changes to their beer lineup. Steam and corn beer are going off tap for a while, so stock up if they're your favorites. Look for experimental guest brews and one-offs coming soon, including a Coffee Pale Ale version 2.0, uh, Marzen, a smoked molasses porter, and a session IPA. North Brewing says to look for its seasonal milk stout in January it has been very busy with a couple of projects this fall. One of those projects is Battery Park in Dartmouth, which opened yesterday in the former Nectar location. 
It has a North Outlet store, 16 taps of a variety of Nova Scotia craft beers, and a menu, uh, or sorry, the texture and flavor inspired small plate menu. It's great. I got to go try it out. It's, uh, it's a really cool place. They also have Glenora Barrel Aged dark, Strong Dark Belgian available again. Grab some today at either the Halifax or Dartmouth locations while it lasts. Sea Level Brewing's Wee Heavy Scotch Ale is available in cans and will be available in growlers by the weekend. I got to visit with them today and he's got something really special. I'll, uh, I'll wait till he announces it to let you know what it is. Spindrift Brewing Company has added Saturday to its opening schedule, swinging the doors open from noon to 4 p.m. at 21 Frazee Avenue in Burnside. They also hit the shelves at the Newfoundland Liquor Corporation recently and will be in New Brunswick at the ANBL in January. Unfiltered Brewing now have their tap room open next to the brewery on North Street. It's called Charm School and it's open from 4 p.m. until midnight. And finally, Bulwark Ciders has bottles of its new Oak Age Cider Cuvée Special on the shelves at the NSLC. It comes in a 750ml flip top and is a 7% ABV cider. That's it for now. Until next time, have a great weekend and enjoy responsibly.